Wow. Hey, Mr. Letter, is that the Academy? No, that is just somebody's house. Then what about that? Is that the Academy? <sighs> That's just a shed. Then how about... As the scenery whipped by, I couldn't help but check out every single building we passed. My heart was pounding so fast, I could hardly breathe. I felt so anxious, I didn't want to sit still any longer. Can't you just calm down for a minute? Jeez. But we're headed to the Gedanlun Royal Magic Academy. I can't believe they accepted me. Well, you wouldn't be the only one who's got all excited. But I can tell you're really happy about it. This has been a dream of mine ever since I was little. It's something I promised my parents I would do. Then I bet they're looking down on you with smiles on their faces. I sure hope so. Oh my gosh, I see it! That's gotta be it! Come on, just come. Oh, right. That is the Academy. There was a castle-like building towered over the lands in the distance. So that's the Gedanlun Royal Magic Academy. I... I really made it! Wow, this is amazing! This is Gedaloon City, where many wizards live. A lot of graduates from the Academy live here as well. Really? You'll probably get a day where they'll let you roam around and check it on your own. Can I have a look around just a little bit, right now? Absolutely not! This is no time to horse around. We must make our way straight to the Academy. Fine. We passed through a forest and finally arrived in front of the Academy. Wow! Towering before my eyes stood the Gedanlun Royal Magic Academy I had dreamt about so much. I really made it! This is really happening! Isn't that amazing, Mr. Letter? I've finally done it! Shut up! How many times are you going to say that? Well, it's just... I still can't believe it. It's still so hard to believe this isn't a dream. My heart pounded as I imagined my new life, filled with all my hopes and dreams at the Academy. Good grief. I should have known you'd be annoying all the way to the very end. Oh, sorry. The way you're acting makes me doubt whether or not you'll actually be okay here. I'll be just fine. I'm going to be a great wizardess. Just you wait and see. Hmm. Just do your best. He's so arrogant, this letter. Well, my job here is done. What? It's been a long trip, but at least it wasn't boring with you around. With that, Mr. Letter waved his hand, or rather, one of the edges of his paper body at me. Then, a single piece of paper appeared and floated down into my palms. What's this? It's a map of the school grounds. Use it to find your way around. Alright, thank you. Farewell! A puff of smoke rose from the acceptance letter, and it turned back into a normal piece of paper. Then, it gently fluttered into my hands. Mr. Letter... He might have been a bit rude, but it would have been such a lonely trip without him. Thanks for coming all this way with me. I whispered to the ordinary piece of paper that I carefully placed in my bag. So, um... Now what? I nervously looked all around me, completely lost. I tried referencing the map, but none of the buildings were labeled. Uh, so... Where do I go from here? Mr. Letter... If only you could come back and point me in the right direction. I guess I should try to find my dorm first. Oh my gosh, this is amazing! Upon entering the academy, a huge auditorium spread out before me. It's so big! My voice echoed throughout the quiet auditorium. In the center of the auditorium stood something like a podium with an object set on top of it. Hmm, what's this? As I got closer, I noticed it was a scale. So pretty. It glittered gold and gave off a mysterious light. Without thinking, I reached out my hand to try to touch it, but just then... I wouldn't touch that if I were you. <laughs> a voice suddenly came from behind me. When I turned around, there stood a man with pink fluffy hair. 
That's pretty valuable, you know. Oh, sorry, I didn't know. Are you the new student here? I haven't seen your face before. Yeah, I'm supposed to start tomorrow. I see! Well, I'm Randy! I'm Icy. Nice to meet you, Icy! Nice to meet you too, Randy. Hey, so what is this thing anyway? Oh, this? Well, it's something of very great importance to you. To me? What do you mean? That's uh, a secret. Don't be like that. <laughs> Sorry, but uh, if I told you, it wouldn't be any fun. You'll figure it out soon enough. Then, you'll see what I mean. As he spoke, Randy reached in his pocket and pulled out a piece of candy. Take this as my apology. Thanks. I rolled the cute, plump piece of candy around in my hand. He seems like a nice guy. I'm still curious about the scale, though. But I guess I'll figure it out soon enough. Master! How could you leave me? Just then, something looking like a small bear came trotting in. Oh my, how cute! This is Taffy. He's my teddy bear. Huh? Your teddy bear? <laughs> That's right. He's able to move around thanks to my magic. That's awesome. Now I know I came to the right place. Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Taffy. Suddenly, a light came from Taffy's body. He started to flash, and a shrill siren-like sound rang throughout the room. Oh? W what the? It looks like he's picked up on some fairy power. What are you talking about? I'm actually in the middle of searching for fairies. Fairies? Right! I put magic in Taffy that makes a really loud sound whenever he senses fairy power. Oh, I see. Is it just me? Or isn't that a little cruel to the poor bear? Well, I gotta go chase me some fairies. See you around. Come on, Taffy! W wait for me, Master! Um, wait! I hastily called out to stop them, but they had already left the auditorium. I wanted to ask you where the heck I am. Well, that was a strange pair, wasn't it? Hmm... Just where am I? It seemed like I had been walking around in circles and had become lost. Even though classes were supposed to be over, I couldn't find a single student around to ask for directions. This isn't good. I unraveled my map one more time and glanced at it as I walked. Just then... Uh, I had walked right into something at full stride and bounced backwards onto my rear. Sorry, are you okay? When I looked up past the hand stretched out towards me, I saw a man with hair as dark as charcoal. Uh, I'm alright. I took his hand and he kindly helped me back on my feet. Thanks. Well, that was my fault after all. No, it's because I was looking at my map while walking. Your map? Uh-huh. I'm supposed to be starting class tomorrow, so... Oh, so you're new here, huh? I'm Azusa. Nice to meet you, Azusa. My name's Icy. You too. I'm a new student, just like you. Oh, you are? I'm a foreign student from a country called Hinomoto. Hinomoto? It's an island country far off to the east of here. I've never heard of it. You're not alone. It's really far away from the mainland. I see. You've come a long way then, haven't you? I guess. He's new, just like me. Maybe I should try asking him something. What's it like here? Everyone's pretty nice. On top of that, the classes are really fun. Really? That's a relief. I was thinking they might be really hard. Yeah, well, things can be a little tough in the beginning. So, good luck. Thanks. He seems like a kind person. So, even though you've got that map, you're still lost, huh? Yeah. I wanted to head to the dorm, but... 
Then you're totally heading in the wrong direction. Let me see that map. Oh, sure. Here. I quickly handed over the map to Azusa. Right now, we're here. He pointed to a location on the map with his finger. And the dome is here. So I really was going the wrong way. Thanks. I think I got it now. I'm happy to help. I think I can make it to my dorm now. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. See you later, Azusa. Hey, I see. Yes? You shouldn't wander around dark places alone like this. Huh? Never mind. See you around. He said, and then quickly left. Huh? I wonder what he meant by that. It's not even that dark around here. Ah, uh, whatever. I should get to the dorm. Huh? What the? This is weird. I was just following the map. Where did all the buildings go? Did I get lost again? A sudden weariness crept up on me, and I instinctively sat down for a break. The grass made a comfy seat, and a pleasant breeze brushed gently against my cheeks. Ah, <sighs> this feels nice. Without thinking, I laid flat on my back and looked up at the sky. Clouds drifted slowly across the deep blue sky like pieces of cotton. What lovely weather. This reminds me of the fields back at home. As I stared at the sky, my eyelids grew heavier and heavier. I'm so... sleepy all of a sudden. <laughs> there I was, a little girl, crying underneath a big tree. It was a memory of a day far in the past. Why are you crying? My mom and dad, they, they went away without me. I'll never see them again. That's so sad. Why? Why did they leave me all alone? <laughs> It'll be okay, Icy. I'm here. I'll never leave you. Really? Yeah, we'll be together forever. Thanks. Let's make a promise. A promise? Uh, hey, are you alright? She's not dead, is she? Huh? 